and welcome back to my channel so today I am once again in a new spot I am sitting in front of my couch in my bedroom and I'm not sure about the lighting I did have really good lighting and then I shut my blinds because I was blinded by the light like literally blinded by the light <laughs> um, anyways if I look goofy I'm trying new angles new lighting new situation so sorry if that seems a little weird I'm changing it up quite a bit I am just trying to find stuff that works good for me I have my dog in the room with me so if you hear any noises it's probably warm um, come here come here he might even come get in the video so anyways today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my monthly favorites for the month of August and this month I haven't really tried that many new things so I have some things that have reappeared in my routine, whether it's beauty or hair care or anything. Um, I have a few random favorites, so I guess I will go ahead and share them with you. So this month I have had a few new things kind of like walk into my life. So um, one of which is this, I'm not positive as usual if I'm saying this right, but it is the Bricado Saturation, which is a leave-in conditioner. OMG, this stuff is amazing. I, I've probably said this before in a video, but it's rare that I find a hair product that I can actually notice a difference in my hair. Uh, I started using this right before I dyed my hair back, and I, my hair was just very damaged and dry, and this works great as a detangler. I put it in my hair once I dry my hair, like towel dry my hair, and I put it in my hair, then I'm able to easily like brush my hair out. It's a great detangler. It is crazy what this does to the ends of your hair. It gives them life, which if you have long hair, you definitely probably need that just because once your hair gets long, it's really old from working its way from your roots to the end, and it's had a lot of heat, or maybe not, but um, just in general, a lot of damage. Um, being out in the sun and such can do that to your hair. So this stuff is seriously amazing. I have been loving it so much all month. Um, that's my dog barking if you're curious. <laughs> Anyways, it's really, it smells nice. It is blue, I, you, yeah, you can tell. Um, I broke my cap, so it's a little funky. But yeah, I just use a little bit. You can apply it to dry hair if you want to like just moisten your ends. If you apply it to dry hair, it's definitely going to go straight in. I feel like I use this so much and I'll probably use it up really quickly. And I know I talked quite a bit about that, but I just have seriously been loving it. So the next two products you're probably tired of hearing me talk about just kind of like when I go on a like Chanel Rampant, um, Kate Somerville. I have been loving. I tried two, nef two new different things this month or at the end of July. The Kate Somerville Exfoliate Acne Treatment and the Kate Somerville Clarifying Treatment. And I did a blog post on everything I own from Kate Somerville, so I'll link that down below along with a few other links. But I have really been loving these this month. My face has recently been really broken out, so you can probably tell in my last two videos, Diesel's probably gonna get on the couch. No! But, but, more but. What are you doing? Anyways, please just ignore this little butt right here. Um, anyways, but uh, my face has been seriously like crazy broken out. I think it's just a combination of school, like stress, just eating unhealthy, and just a lot of things. So I'm trying to get my life back on track. But um, I have been using these two things. I use the toner every day, twice a day. I love it. Um, I have used quite a bit, and I seem to be going through these products really quickly, and they're very expensive, so I will see if I repurchase them just because no doubt I want to, but just the fact that how fast I go through them is not, not the best. Um, but my favorite, probably favorite thing of the whole line is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Acne. This is seriously just incredible stuff. It's the best exfoliant I think I've ever had in my whole entire life. Especially if you have acne, it'll feel great on your skin. Um, but I'll link the blog post down below where I go like into a full description of 
everything. Um, sorry. This is what I have. Oh, now he's leaving. So you can see on my blog post the description of everything and stuff like that. And I also describe a few other things. So next beauty-ish items, I have two beauty items left and well actually kind of like three and then the rest are just kind of random favorites. Um, I have refall and I'm in love with my <laughs> Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Stick in the shade Sugar Frost. Um, at first I was probably applying way too much product. This is what it looks like. So that's why I was not liking it so much and now I've kind of figured out how to use it and how to make it work. So um, this is just it swatched and this is it swatched and blended in if you can see that. Um, it's just really really pretty. I like to use it as a base or if I don't really have a lot of time to do my makeup this is just so easy to swipe over my lids, put on a little mascara and you're good to go. So I definitely would recommend this if you're going to school and you're really not like starting to wear makeup. Um, I think that this is a great option. It's easy, kind of like mess free, it's impossible to mess up except for I messed it up, but as long as you don't apply too much, you know, you won't mess it up. You have to apply it and blend it, so that's what where I went wrong. I thought that you could just swipe it on and it would be fine. I don't know why I thought that, but anyways, I have re-fallen in love with that, and I'm really glad because now I want to try some other colors that they have because they're really pretty. Um, anyways, next item is this mascara, which also kind of stumbled upon into my life, just like this hair product. Um, just like the saturation, my mom had it, I got it at my hairdresser. This mascara is the Mary Kay Lash Love Lengthening Mascara. I've never had anything from Mary Kay or Avon or any kind of thing, makeup, such stuff like that. But this actually came in the box with my textbooks from Chegg. And at the time, I was really, really desperate for just a good mascara or any mascara. Because the ones that I've tried lately have been doozies. And this one has been really nice. I'm wearing it today, so I don't know if you can tell the difference in my lashes from my last video. Probably not, but um, I can definitely tell a difference. It has a curved wand. Let's see if you can tell. Curved. And it is rubber, I guess. It is not like real... Let's see, it bends. It's not like real bristles and stuff like that. It's like the new rubber mascaras. The formula is really, really nice. It doesn't get clumpy. I don't know. I've only had it for like two weeks. So I can't tell you how long it would last or if it clumps up after a while. But first impression, the first two weeks, I have been loving it this month. So I figured that I would share that with you guys. Just in case you buy things from Mary Kay or you have it easily accessible, you might want to give this a try. This is in the shade. Oh, I didn't even ever realize this. Um, I, it was just black, so I was like, whatever. But it's in I Heart Black. So let's see. I don't know if this shows up backwards or if you can even tell that. But if you can see it and it's not backwards, I'm glad. <laughs> Anyways, the last kind of beauty-ish item, even though I already said it like 10 times, has been gel polish this month. And I've just been wearing it pretty much the whole month. I like it because it's easy and it lasts long. And where I work, it just is really durable. But I wanted to show you guys my manicure because I just went yesterday to get my nails done at a local salon that is really, really awesome. And so I don't really know where you all are from, but if you live anywhere in the Hampton Roads area, which is probably unlikely because you, I don't know. Anyways, but if you do, this there's a great salon in Newport News called Nail Addict or Nails Addict or Nail Addicts. I don't know. I've seen people that get their nails done there. I started following on them on Instagram, and once I did, I was like, OMG, I have to go get my nails done there. So I did, and I loved it. I got them done yesterday. I'll probably be going again next time I need to get my nails done. Sorry, I keep scratching my nose. It's itching really bad. Um, but I will link their Instagram down below, or not link it, but I'll say what it is, or if I can link it, I'll link it, whatever. <laughs> um, anyways, but I wanted to show you my nails. I didn't really know what I wanted. I just, I wanted to get French, but some of my nails had broken, so I got like a natural color with some glitter, and she did a tribal print, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Um, the natural color is crazy. She did all of that by hand, which is just crazy. There's Diesel again. Um, and then this hand is different. The glitter is on my ring finger and the pointer finger is um, the design. So yeah, that's what they look like. It's really, really cool. I'm going to try to post a picture on Instagram. So 
follow me on Instagram and if you want follow them too if you live around here or if you just want some inspiration they do really really cute nails so yeah I figured that I would share that with you all <laughs> um the last two favorites that are non beauty favorites have been my iMac I have been totally obsessed with my computer and also back to school videos I have been loving watching back to school videos until I went back to school this week and now I'm like why can't it be summer again? But um, anyways, I have loved watching back to school videos. Sorry if I'm playing with my hair. I just, I do it. It's habit, whatever. Um, sorry if it bothers you, but I just play with my hair, whatever. I have been loving back to school videos and I linked in my last video, Katie's videos, and I will link them again, or not my last video, my the video before last. Anyways, I will link them down below and I'll link my back to school series too. But definitely check her out. I have seriously, seriously been loving them. Um, we even talked in my last or a comment on my video before that they've just been so helpful to me. So I hope that they're helpful for you all and be sure to check them out because I've just, I don't even know why. I was like, wow, I never thought about that. I never thought to do that. So Check her videos out because she has really good tips and obviously she's very studious and a good student. So, um, yeah, I would definitely check that out. And, yes, yeah, so thank you all for watching. Let me know how you like my setup and the lighting and everything like that. I'm really having a hard time filming, finding a good place to film, but I really want to redo my room. But who knows if that'll happen. And I'm sorry about this little butt right here. A little buggy, a little wormy. He's cute. Warm. Boop, boop. Hi. Look. Look up here. Oh my goodness. Hi. <laughs> Anyways, he's so cute. I have a million, million and one nicknames for that dog. You probably know if you follow me on Instagram. But I love him and I call him Worm. But the newest nickname is Little Buggy. So he's my little buggy. Um, anyways, not that you care, but maybe you do. I don't know. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that this was an interesting yet not so boring favorites. I did not have that many favorites this month. I did not have that many favorites this month. So that is good because, well, it's not good that I found things I didn't like. But it's good that it was a short video. Actually, it probably turned out to be really long. Um, but usually I'm rambling on and on and on about things that I've shown before, so I'm trying to cut that out and just show you new things, but yeah. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you're having a good week back to school if you're going back to school or if it's the weekend. I hope you're having a good weekend or good morning or good night, whatever. Um, so thank you all so much for watching, and be sure to subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.